Man United's 0 0 draw with Arsenal yesterday was largely forgettable, but something that wasn't was Ahmed Diallo's debut for Manchester United's under 23s against Liverpool. Now, Joe Hugo may take the headlines because he deservedly should really he scored a fantastic hat trick and he's been sensational at that level since joining, but Diallo, all eyes were on Diallo and he did not disappoint on his debut with two goals and an outrageous penalty. But it wasn't just about the goals that was impressive as far as I was concerned with Diallo. And that's what I want to do in this video. I want to run through all the key moments that I saw whilst watching that game and why they, why the excitement is there about Diallo and what we saw yesterday in terms of his attributes that we can easily see transferring to this first team. Maybe sooner rather than later, judging by that performance against Liverpool's under-23s. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's talk about Ahmad Diallo. To summarise Diallo's performance quickly at the start, there were a few things that really stood out. And for me, the first major thing was the confidence. Diallo, he has huge self-belief in his own ability with the ball at his feet. Whether that's ball carrying and running it through players, whether that's decision making and making the right decisions, whether that's finishing, whether that's movement. He's agile, he's zippy. He's a very rounded player for someone who's so young and that's what struck me the most, and that's what impressed me the most, was the confidence in his own ability. And I want to run through a few examples now from throughout that game that sort of highlight these different attributes. And a quick shout out to United District on Twitter. I've used a few of the screenshots that they put out on there, so thanks for that. Uh, but let's talk about these key moments in the debut. And the first thing you've got to talk about is obviously his first goal, because it came in the 13th minute. Now Diallo, as you can see here, the ball is being played to the Liverpool defender, and Diallo's out on the right-hand side. But as soon as he goes towards the Liverpool defender, Diallo pounces on him. He presses him. And as soon as that touch is bad, Diallo takes the ball. And as soon as he takes the ball, he runs into the space. And now it's at this point where, if you think about Marcus Rashford, the finish typically is he puts his foot through it. But Diallo, he sees the gap to the keeper's left-hand side and he slots it past him into the bottom right-hand corner. And it was a fantastically accomplished finish. Diallo's so quick in his debut, maybe he's full of adrenaline, he probably was, but that was very composed. And to see him pressing like that, that's something that suits this United team that we're building. We're, we're, when we're playing well, we're pressing high up the pitch, we're winning the ball high up the pitch. And that's exactly what Diallo did there, but he didn't fluff his lines. He scored a fantastic goal. And it's not just that, here's another example of Diallo's pressing. He's pressing the Liverpool defender there, and he's blocking the passing lane. He takes the ball and he goes forward. And... Uh, Again, that's what you really need to see from, from our attackers. In, that's when we play well, as I said. When we're pressing as a team high up the pitch and we win the ball high up the pitch, so when we've got the ball, the defence isn't sitting in shape. Because United, typically, when a defence can sit disciplined and deep, we struggle to break down their lines. But when we win the ball high up the pitch and the defence isn't in shape, we can exploit those gaps. And that's something that Diallo did extremely well on his debut. And something that really did stand out for Diallo was, as I said, his confidence uh, with ball carrying. So if you take this example here, he's got the ball, he's got two Liverpool defenders in front of him. Maybe the easy option would be to turn back, to pass it to the fullback on the right-hand side. But instead, he just drives straight through the middle of them. And he can also, if you look at this example, it's not just about those gaps there, what he's running at defenders. He can do it from the wings as well. Take a look at this example. He receives the ball there. And he could, at that point, he could run on the outside, but he's got that unpredictability to his game where he can cut inside, a bit like a Robin move, you know, when he cuts in from the right on his left foot and he takes a shot. He does miss, but you're not going to score with every single one of them, are you? Uh, and I think that unpredictability is something that, again, will come down as a key attribute when he makes that move up to that first team. Because if you're a predictable winger and someone knows you're always going to cut inside or someone knows you're always going to go on the outside, it's very easy to defend against. But if you have a, def a, a winger that can do both naturally and very well, it makes it very hard for a defender to know which, which way to move. And that was an attribute I definitely saw in Diallo's game. Now, something that really did impress me was Diallo's decision-making. And at 18, decision-making shouldn't be something that comes easy to you, I suppose. It's something that you learn with experience. But take this example here. Diallo receives the ball, basically was back to goal. He turns to face. And instead of maybe, again, the easy option of just uh, turning back towards the central midfield, maybe you're passing it back to a defender. As you can see, I think it's Hannibal there, who's, who's just behind him. He cuts back inside and he sees the fullback coming down the left and he passes it to him. And ultimately, that leads to a goal. 
So decision making is another element that I definitely saw in his game yesterday. Of course, he won't get every single decision right. And I'm not saying he's God's gift to football, but I'm saying these are definite examples of attributes that I saw yesterday in that debut. And it really was a rounded performance. And obviously the cherry on the cake, as far as Diallo was concerned, would have been that penalty. And sure, it was in the 75th minute and United were already 5-2 up, but look at the swagger that he's got to do this Penenka penalty on his debut. Bear in mind when you take a Penenka penalty and you fluff it up, you look like a dick. But he's 18, he's making his United debut after a massive, massive move against Liverpool's under-23s away and he just pulls out a Penenka penalty. It's an outrageous show of confidence. And for, it's almost like a message to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to say, look, I'm ready straight away. Why waste my time in the under-23s when look what I can do? And as I said, Joe Hugel should take the headlines for a hat-trick, for a fantastic performance. But Diallo, all eyes were on Diallo. And I think he wanted to put on a show. That's kind of what, that's kind of the, the takeaway that I've got from that performance yesterday. And I can really see him slotting into that team extremely well. And I think you can see in terms of the scouting that United are doing, we're signing players for certain reasons. And we signed Diallo, not just because he's an exciting 18-year-old who could maybe add something to our attack. It's clear that the attributes that he's got can solve a problem that we have on the right wing because to have a winger there who's confident at carrying the ball, tick, Diallo's got that. Who can score, tick, he scored two yesterday. Who can, who can run at defenders with the ball at his feet, tick, and he can go inside and outside, tick, and he presses with intensity. He's very agile, very quick movements, very sharp movements, very light on his feet. And of course, the physicality might come into question, but Lionel Messi literally is one of the best players, if not the best player in the world. So it's not just all about being big and huge in football anymore. It's, it's just not the case. So I don't think that's going to be a blocker for Diallo. And that, the, the question here is when does Solskjaer think it, it's right? Not only for the team, for Diallo to come in, but for Diallo himself. Because as soon as he comes into the first team, the pressure is on. And it, it's, it's a tough environment for an 18-year-old to come into. But the confidence that I saw from Diallo was was quite sensational, really. It, it's not something that you really see with too many 18-year-olds, and especially that penalty, because he could have easily just slotted into the corner, made it too lovely. But the, from that decision there is, it, it's got to be considered the, a, ridiculous, a ridiculous show of, of confidence from someone who's so young on his debut. But in terms of the overall performance, you saw a player there who's very naturally gifted, very technical, very different to Dan James or Mason. Actually, no, he's quite similar to Mason Greenwood in a lot of ways, but different in other ways, I suppose. Diallo is a hell of a talent. And I think given United's weakness on that right-hand side, I would not be surprised to see Diallo make his first team debut sooner rather than later based on that performance against Liverpool's under-23s. As I said, it was the confidence that really shone out that really, for me, is the main takeaway from all of this. Because you can see any uh, young player make make a, a good performance at that level, but to have the confidence to do what he did on his debut against Liverpool's under-23s as well, it's not, a, not exactly Sheffield United, fantastic. Really, really was. It was exciting to watch. I can't wait to see what happens when he comes into the first team, and it will be down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to manage when that happens. Because bringing him into a situation like Southampton, for example, in a few days' time, after the two results we've had, the pressure is there on the result. So he's, there's no way he's going to play against Southampton. He'll be brought in when we're in a good run of form. When it, there's, I mean, there, there will be pressure from now until the end of the season. So maybe there's no right time to bring Diallo in. But when would you want to see Diallo making his debut? Based on that performance against Liverpool's under-23s, I imagine it's going to be sooner rather than later. But it was very exciting. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments below. But Amad Diallo, he looks like he's going to be a real star based on that performance there against Liverpool's under-23s. And of course, it's the under-23s and it's not the measure of everything. But for that level of confidence on his debut after joining United against Liverpool, yes, please.